Hi, this is Marcus from Aroma Time, and I want to talk to you about IDing a customer. This IDing a customer who, who's going to drink alcohol. Here is the policy that we follow that we learned from Tips, which is an which is a, a program to help restaurants and establishments serve alcohol properly. If you think that somebody is under 25 or under 30, and you think you ID them by all means. There's a book next to the register of the acceptable forms of ID that are available. They can use any driver's license or passport or military license. Okay, some people bring out some weird idea, weird IDs. If that happens, you can call the police, 647-4422, and ask them if it's an acceptable form. Now, you can go to the customer and say, you know, if they bring out some weird, weird identification, you can simply say to them, I, I don't recognize this and I don't want to get in trouble, so I'd like to be able to call the police to verify. Now, chances are, if they're giving you something fake or something, they're going to say, don't worry about it, no, not at all. Please, please, I, I don't want to drink. But if it's legitimate, they're going to say, okay, pretty much fine, you know. You can call the police and say, no, I have a customer here. I don't, I don't recognize this, their ID. Can you just verify for me over the phone that I can accept this, you know, um, having a liquor license as a proof of ID. Now, if you ID somebody, and they don't have an ID, you cannot serve them whatsoever. Because you thought they were under 21, that suspicion was there, and they can't provide an ID, you're not allowed to serve them. It's a very crucial point. So you're gonna have to, you know, you have to explain the law to them, say, you know, once I ask for ID and you can't produce any ID, I, I can't, I, by law, I cannot serve you. Okay, it's extremely important. Now, I understand that I'm getting technical here, and a lot of restaurants don't get this technical, but we have to, uh, respect our liquor license here because it makes us a lot of money at the restaurant. So it keeps us in business, the wine, and beer, and the spirits here. So you, they they can't they can't drink if they can't prove it. People at the table say, "Oh, this is my daughter, and she's 23, and you know this and that." Sorry, it doesn't work like that way. Unfortunately, if you're one of the customers that's been in this situation, I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. By law, I cannot do that. So, other than that, you really cannot deny anybody alcohol in here. Okay, if somebody walks in, the only ways you can really truly deny them and say no to them is if they've had a lot to drink already. You cannot discriminate. Okay, you can't discriminate versus a past experience here. And you definitely cannot discriminate if somebody's pregnant. It's their right to drink alcohol if they're pregnant. As as a liquor license you know holdy, I we cannot determine that. That's up to them. So you simply can't say you know, I'm sorry, but I can't serve you. You're pregnant. That's discrimination. We can get in trouble for that. You have to leave it in their hands, okay? Now, um, if somebody's drunk, you can easily cut them off. You can say, I'm sorry. I'm very uncomfortable serving you, you know, um, and I'm not allowed to legally, and I have to ask you how you're getting home in this net, and do you need a ride? Okay, it's extremely important. Some people are going to come in here with a couple of drinks already, and they might you might not notice it, and they'll drink one drink, and they're like, Woo, where'd that come from? You're like, wow, that person was all of a sudden drunk and they've only had one drink here. And who knows where they drank along the way? So you have to really monitor people. You can't say, oh, they've had one drink, they're okay. You really got to monitor. Um, some people can handle their alcohol very well. Uh, most people, you know, just simply can't and you have to just monitor if they're drinking. If somebody comes in and starts pounding drinks back and they're doing like three an hour, you really got to say to yourself, okay, it's time to slow this person down. Put a menu in front of them, try to get food in them. If you can just give them bread. Some people say, I don't want to eat and I'm not hungry. Just go to the kitchen and say I need a little bite for you know for somebody out there. The kitchen will do soybeans or something, or uh, even a pizza if it's a group of people, or you know, even a basket of bread. Okay, and make sure you're giving them lots of water. Very, very, very important. Okay, this is a fine line here because the servers you're going to see that your check averages are going to go up with alcohol, and you know a nine dollar martini, a nine dollar glass of wine, or a, you know hundred dollar bottle of wine, fifty dollar bottle of wine. Your check averages are going to go up, but you really have got to be responsible because. Not only does it come back on Jamie and I, but it comes back on you guys as the person who are serving it. So if somebody comes in here and does not have an ID and you serve them and it's an sting operation or they get busted, guess what? You will be the ones who get arrested for it. Jamie and I will probably will not get arrested. You being the person who actually serves it. So there's a lot of obligations um, that is your part of the responsibility. So it's very, very important. Now, if you have any questions, ask any of the other staff. Just ask them, you know, would you ID that person over there, you know, before... Because they'll tell you, they'll say, they might say, oh, no, that person's a regular. I know that person. They're, they're 28 years old. They're perfectly fine. Then that'll get you, you know, that'll, that'll, that'll alleviate you. So, but once you ask the customer, 
if they if they have ID and they don't have, you cannot serve them. Please, please, please understand that. Okay, um, and be wary if you know for for you know if they if a sting operation is done, you know they'll come in and they'll send a single guy to the bar, a younger guy who's going to look older, and he'll order something ridiculous like. Um, rum, you know, a, sh a rum on the rocks or something. Things you typically don't, don't, um, don't get it. Or, you know, they're not, he's not going to order like a Manhattan or something or a regular martini. He's going to order something that's kind of like a kickoff, okay? Then a guy will come down and sit next to him and watch the whole money transaction. Now, the money's marked usually, so they'll watch the whole transaction and the money's marked. And then, you know, and then simply before you know it, the police are in here and they're arresting the person who served them. So you do not want that to happen. Please please be very diligent and ID if you think ID it's not worth it because you will you will be in jail within 15 minutes you'll be over the police department I, I, I guarantee that okay that's how that works so this is not only for our protection for the restaurants protection but it's for your protection personally okay that's not something you want on your record this is not something we're doing intentionally we don't get underage drinkers here to begin with because we're a restaurant we're not a club or something where you know underage kids come to so we really don't have to worry about people coming in all the time but there are some times where you know obviously you know people are going to try it and there are going to be times where parents are going to give their kids wine which is a really tough situation and you know you cannot give these people these kids glasses or whatever and kids i'm talking about you know 18 19 year olds people that are under 21 you know, and their parents, you know, might, might say, I want, to, I, want, I want a glass for my daughter, and she's not old enough, and you just have to stand your ground and simply say, you know what, I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot do that. Um, you know, I, I could get in a lot of trouble with the liquor authority and this and that. And the bottom line is there's much more liquor authority inspectors out there now than there were previously, and they go around, and they do operations, and they come in and see, and they are checking. So you've got to be really careful. If you have any questions on serving liquor, it's, this is an extremely important deal. It's important for us to keep our liquor license. It's important to keep people extremely um, healthy, as you know, um, sober as we can, as far as getting home safely, not hurting anybody. It's extremely important for you guys, for you guys not to end up in trouble and end up at the police station and have something on your record. None of this is worth it. So please understand the laws. Ask myself, ask Jamie, ask other those scenes from the senior staff that have been here. It's a very, very important topic. Thank you very much. Oh.